Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have another foundation. Actually, I'm going to be doing a couple foundation reviews this coming week. So up first is going to be the latest from Bobbi Brown. I have not had a Bobbi Brown foundation product in my stash for quite some time. This is her Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint with SPF 15. The shade that I picked up is shade Fair 2. There are 18 shades to choose from on the Sephora website. It retails for $46, but shade Fair 2 is described as extra light beige with a balance of yellow and pink. So I'm crossing my fingers that I picked up the right shade. I did order this online. Um, it says it's going to provide us with a light coverage. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It's going to be a natural finish skin tint that's supposed to be long wearing and of course give us that little bit of sun protection. Please, I encourage you, do not let whatever sunscreen is in your foundation be your one and done sunscreen. You always need to go in with a sunscreen first before you start applying the rest of your makeup. In case it is your first time here on my channel, allow me to introduce myself. Hello and welcome. My name is Steph. I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. And now that I've gotten all of the deets about my complexion out of the way, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, that way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you are in as big of a fan of foundation reviews as I am, I could review a foundation every single day if it was possible. Give this video a thumbs up. As per usual, all of my foundation reviews, well I would say the majority of them, they do span two days. So I'm going to take you to the application portion first. Well you get to see how the um, foundation, or in this case the skin tint, is going to apply. And then um, on day one, I don't wear it with any helping products. No primer, no powder, no setting spray. I also do not do any touch-ups on either day. Day two is the the day where I wear it more of a traditional way, meaning I include primer, powder, setting spray, all of that good stuff, and then I'll wrap up uh, the two-day wear test at the end of day two, and I'll give you guys some alternative dupes in case you are not going to be able to pick this one up from Bobbi Brown. Don't worry, I have you guys covered. If you all want to see this new Bobbi Brown skin tint in action, keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started applying this new Bobbi Brown Skin Tint. This looks like it's going to be really good. It also says it has pro-vitamin D and cactus flower for a fresh, healthy looking complexion. I am excited about that. This is what the tube looks like. Let's give it a good shake. I'm also going to be using a Bobbi Brown concealer, so I'll swatch them next to one another. Again, this is going to be, oh yeah. This is gonna be my shade, I already know. Let's just put it right there. Yeah, most definitely. And then here is the concealer that I have. It's a little stick concealer. This one I have in the shade Ivory. And there you go. Oh wow, almost a perfect match. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend those in a little bit. I don't wanna waste them. But um, this concealer right here, I do have a review over it. It's actually a really good concealer, especially for those of you who don't like to set your under eye area. I would definitely recommend that concealer. It gets you a good medium, a good solid medium coverage. I'm going to use my, what is this? The Pinnacle Foundation Brush, Anissa Beauty, <laughs> my Anissa Beauty Foundation Brush to start applying. Uh, I don't think I will do a damp beauty sponge with this one. I might just do one at the end so that way uh, I can make sure like there's no brush strokes, everything is pressed in. But typically when I try a new foundation or like a skin tint and I know the coverage is going to be really light, I just tend to use a brush so it doesn't so soak up as much product. And so I think that's what I'm going to do today. Now, there is a scent. This scent is like a Bobbi Brown scent. Um, it's a scent that I've noticed like in her um, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I do have that moisturizer. I don't necessarily use that moisturizer as a primer like I know a lot of people do. I mean, I 
use it as a regular moisturizer, you know, but I know some people swear by that as their, their primer. And I would imagine those of you that enjoy it more as a primer, you probably have more normal to dry or full on dry skin. So I think the coverage is looking good. It's definitely a light coverage, but I think this is enough. Like I definitely think it can be built up a little bit. And then of course, that's what our concealer's for so that we can spot conceal right here on the sides of my cheeks. That's where I always tend to build up coverage. And that's because I have old acne scars and minor discoloration. Yeah, definitely getting that vitamin rich face face scent from this one. And it's more of like, it's not a floral scent. It's not really a, like a perfume scent. It's just kind of like an organic scent. Like I said, if you're familiar with Vitamin Rich Face Face, then uh, you know, this, is, this one is gonna smell exactly like it. I'm definitely seeing more, I don't know that I'm seeing natural finish right now. I feel like I have a radiant finish, but that's okay, I don't mind. I'm hoping this kind of sets itself since I am not wearing any setting powder today. I am going to be going in with my Bobbi Brown uh, face brick in the shade uh, bronze. And that's about it. Some lipstick, mascara, brows. And then I'm hoping to film a haul video uh, later today. I do have a couple errands to run this morning, but then after lunch, I'm hoping I'll be able to film that video. Okay, so full face. I used up everything that was on the back of my hand. Full face is pretty much done. This is what it looks like. The coverage, again, light coverage, but I think it's on the higher side of light coverage. What do you guys think? I'm going to go in now with the concealer stick. And this is one that I like to use and just tap out with my fingers. This is right here. Leftover lash glue maybe from yesterday. This concealer just melts into the skin. And especially if you're using your finger to apply, that really helps it to melt and just stay put. This is one of the few concealers I have that I like the way it looks without setting powder. Perfect. Wow, that was fast. That was easy. I mean, I guess you could apply the skin tint with your fingers. I don't like to do that. I always just like to use a tool, but I don't mind, you know, if I have to use my finger for concealer, like I don't mind doing that at all. But like when it comes to foundation, yeah, I'd rather just use a, a little, a little tool. Now, I think I want to add just a little bit of coverage right in here. Again, this is always where I build up the coverage. And for that, I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and just press. Press over everywhere just to make sure it's, it is as seamless as possible. I think the shade is a great shade match for me. Fair too. I like it. And once again, there are 18 shades available. Okay, so I think this looks really great. Uh, obviously, it does feel tacky still because I just applied it. But it feels really lightweight. I'm really hoping it kind of dries itself down. Um, you know, it's a hot day here in South Texas. I have a couple errands to run just this morning, but then I'm going to be doing some chores around the house. So we're going to see how this is going to hold up. I'll definitely keep you guys posted and we'll do our first check-in after lunch. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is a five hour check in with this new Bobbi Brown skin tint and here's what my complexion is looking. Guys, I have been working indoors and I'm going to show you in a little bit what I've been doing to my beauty room, my office. This is not necessarily the room I film in. It's just where I have like my computer set up and all that stuff. But now I think I'm actually going to be using this room to film like YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and maybe even these like foundation check-ins. Um, but let's get back to the foundation. So I'm an oil slick. Like I looked in my simple human mirror right now. I mean, my, my face is very oily, but 
the foundation has not rubbed off and it has not caked up. So it's looking really good, very skin-like. Uh, this eyeshadow that I have on, I just uploaded it to Instagram. It's an Instagram reel using the new um, weightless shadow sticks from Rare Beauty. And that's about it. I've been indoors, outdoors working. I'm going to flip you around real quick so that way you can see. I'm really excited and I just want to share it with somebody. So uh, I'm going to flip you around so you can see what exactly I've been working on. So here is the greenery wall that I have in my filming, not my filming, but my office. And this is obviously my desk right there. But look at my new light i ordered myself a neon light uh one of the things that i got during prime day over on amazon and all of these little twinkle lights i got from amazon as well everything is battery operate operated and i can change the color of the neon light so you guys will likely be still see me filming reels here with this backdrop, YouTube shorts, maybe even check-ins, but I thought everything looked so cute. I did this greenery wall about a month and a half ago. I have like a dresser over there, then a closet, but um, I did the greenery wall um, about a month and a half ago, and today I just started putting up the lights, and I just got that neon light in a couple days ago. So I'm really excited. You'll definitely be seeing, seeing more of it in the future, and I will check in with you guys in another five hours, and we'll wrap up this day one wear test. All right, guys, so 10-hour check-in here. You know, for being an oil slick, uh, I don't feel like I need to go take off my makeup. Like, it did kind of set itself. It doesn't feel as tacky as it did, but there's a slight tackiness to it. I know tomorrow it's going to be so much better. Look at the under eye concealer too. Doesn't that look so good? No powder. No powder uh, with that concealer. That is a really good concealer. If you're going to be picking up this skin tint, I highly recommend that concealer as well, especially if you just need something that's medium coverage, quick on the go. That is a really good concealer. Overall, guys, you know, I know I'm really oily, but like it hasn't come off. I'm not cakey. I don't feel like I have that heavy makeup feeling. It's super lightweight. It hasn't accentuated like any texture or anything like that. Um, you know, it, aside from it being, you know, making me oily uh, because I have no setting powder on. I have no primer. Um, I think it did a really good job today. I think for those of you who have full-on dry skin, I think this is going to be a fantastic skin tint for you. Uh, but I'll check in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know what helping products I went in with. And then we will wrap up this two-day, 10-hour wear test tomorrow evening. Stay tuned. Hey, guys. Good morning. So here is how the complexion is looking on day two with all of the helping products. I'm going to quickly tell you of course what I went in with of course the new Bobbi Brown skin tint over here for primer I went in with one of my favorites especially uh, if I know I'm going to be uh, reviewing a glowy or radiant foundation it is from glow recipe and these are their strawberry BHA pore smoothing blur drops I love this primer so so much a little Cody air spun powder to set the t-zone and the under eye area um, for concealer one of my favorites at the drug store the l'oreal in a fallible uh, 24 hour full wear concealer my cheeks actually no yeah is it my cheeks and my contour my cheeks and contour are both from milk love that uh highlighter palette is this one right here the frosting highlighter palette from cosmic brushes which i do believe some of you said has already come back in stock so definitely if you're wanting that um take a look head on over to the cosmic brushes website one size uh on till dawn setting mist to set the complexion down sorry about that noise and then um for mascara i'm using the latest one from lys beauty i like it but i do have to curl my lashes before applying it and then last but not least i am wearing a and i don't know if i brought it with me it's a rare beauty tinted lip oil in the shade uh happy it's in the shade happy and this is how the complexion looks everything looks really nice i love it i think it looks less glowy less radiant than it did yesterday i have very high expectations for how it is going to wear today so i will check in with you guys a little bit later i'll be running errands doing work around the house it's a busy day here in my stash but i will see you guys in about five hours
All right, guys, we are at the six hour check in on this day two of trying out the new Bobbi Brown vitamin enrich skin tint. I was going to say sunscreen, but skin tint. My complexion looks fabulous. If I do say so myself, everything just looks so smooth, so good. I love the coverage. I mean, I have no complaints. I'm not excessively oily. I've been indoors, outdoors. I just got back from a doctor's appointment, and I think everything looks just perfect. Nothing is settling. Nothing is creasing. It feels good. It feels like it's set. Well, obviously now it is, but it doesn't feel tacky or anything. This is, this is going to be a good one, guys. I will wrap up this review and wear test in about four hours. Give you guys my final thoughts. I'll give you guys some alternatives in case you're not going to be able to get this one. But so far, this one is definitely a winner. Okay, guys, we have reached the two-day, 10-hour mark of me trying out this new uh, skin tint from Bobbi Brown. Guys, this looks really good. At the 10-hour mark, I think it still looks great. I don't do touch-ups when I do these foundation reviews. And, I mean, you can clearly see a difference from yesterday to today. Yesterday, I was a complete oil slick, but that's because I didn't get to use any of my helping products. Today, with a, you know, mattifying primer, some powder, setting spray, all that good stuff, it really helped to just control my oil and just keep the skin tint intact. I think it is a beautiful formula. I think Bobbi Brown, they did a fantastic job formulating this. I think... If you are normal to dry, full on dry, you're gonna wanna wear this just on its own. If you're like me, a normal to oily skin type, you're definitely gonna have to go in with your helping products, but I can definitely see the skin tint working for a wide array of uh, skin type. So don't feel like, oh, you only have to have dry skin or you only have to have oily skin. You know, it can go either way, just depending on what products you pair with it. Um, it's very lightweight. It doesn't accentuate texture. It feels good. It feels just, just perfect. It's a really, really nice skin tint. It does come with a $46 price tag. I have some other alternatives that are, I think, a little bit less. Yeah, I don't think any of them are at $46. One of the ones that came to mind was this one from It Cosmetics. This is their CC Nude Glow. This one is going to provide medium coverage and it does have SPF 40 in it. Um, I feel like the coverage I got from this Bobbi Brown one was enough. And then with a little spot concealing, it was perfect. But these two kind of give that same glowy finish. You all know, I mean, I do this all the time, but you know, when a product is just so good, you need to keep mentioning it. And Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, this is going to be best for those of you with normal to oily and full on oily. And it's only $6. Granted, I don't think there's 18 shades of this available. But if you can find your shade, I highly recommend this one. This one is oil free and it does contain hyaluronic acid and squalene in it. This is a beautiful foundation from Wet n Wild. I also want to remind you guys about this one from Tula. This is their Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint with SPF 30 and I have shade 4 in this one. This is a really nice one. I picked this up in store at Ulta and it is a very good shade match on me. Uh, two others. I have the mini size of the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. This one has SPF 25. This is a repeat purchase for me. This is going to give you a glowy finish. The shade I have is light. That is too dark for me. I would need to go a shade down, but this is also a really nice lightweight tinted sunscreen um, that's also going to give you some coverage. I feel like I get more coverage out of this one than I do with this Bobbi Brown. And last but not least, I think the one that is kind of most similar to this one uh price point formulation and everything is this one from ysl and this is a really nice one i would recommend this to those of you with normal to dry skin or full on dry skin this is their new uh ysl bare look tint the shade i have in this one is nu2 and this is a fantastic one this is the one that reminds me the most of this one from bobby brown now i want to hear from you guys what did you think of this two-day, 10-hour review? I'm loving this. This is definitely one that I'm going to continue to wear. Oh, I know some of you are going to ask me, how does this compare to the hourglass one? So I like the hourglass one. I like it a lot. 
but I feel like this one wore better for longer. I feel like it looks better at the 10 hour check-in versus the hourglass one. Um, also versus the Danessa Myricks yummy skin tint. I definitely think this Bobbi Brown one, this Bobbi Brown one out of those three is my favorite. So take that as you will. Let me know what some of your favorite foundations and skin tints have been as of lately. I am getting ready to try the reformulated or the new Bare Minerals. Uh, I think it's a natural finish foundation. It dropped recently on the Ulta website. So you guys should be seeing that two-day 10-hour wear test come up later this week. So I, like I said before, guys, I could do foundation reviews every single day if it was possible. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this new Bobbi Brown skin tint is going to be in your future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. It is super important. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.